Hello YouTube travelers, welcome to Love DG YouTube channel where we love everything about digital art and graphic design. So you have taken picture of yourself or someone else and you have nice portrait, but perhaps you would like to change the expression on your picture of the face. So you would like it maybe to look more surprised like this or to smile more like this or maybe you would like it to look very old like this. All these effects are very easy to accomplish and we will use neural filters which was which is a feature that was added into Photoshop like two years ago and I will show you how to do these simple changes and it's very easy. Let's dive into it. So let's disable these layers and let's make a copy of uh, original layer by con pressing Ctrl J or Command J and all we have to do it's really simple is to go to filter neural filters and wait for it to load and there we have smart portrait we will turn it on and now we can make changes to our face maybe add more happiness like add all happiness we can and wait a little bit until it processes it. Well, as you can see, I think it's she's smiling a little bit too much. And the right eye from our perspective is a little bit smaller. People do that when they smile sometimes, but it looks a little bit less natural. So I thought that maybe choosing 20 5 will be better for our picture. Yes, this is more natural to my opinion. And yes, it's very easy. It's like magic. You just change the happiness here. Maybe you can move it to the left and see what will happen. Oh, she looks quite sad, isn't she? So, or maybe... Well, let's get let it back. Of course, you can combine these things. There is a age. We would like her to look very old. Just move it to the right. And she's very old. And when we move it to the left, she will look younger. Well, she's already very young, so it's not a great change. And I have to say that... All these results will affect on the quality of your picture. Sometimes the result is not greatest. It's the AI. AI make mistakes. And you would like to make you would have to make some manual changes later. So what we can do also is there are expressions here. So surprise I've showed you is when you take it too much to write, it creates a little bit <laughs> too crazy things. But she's very surprised now. But I think maybe this is like better when you move it a little more to the left because it will look more natural. The more expression you add, the more it's, I guess, probable to create less natural result. So I like this, I think, better. But let's give it to zero again. Of course. And, and let's let's make her angry a little bit. I think that this is the worst result. Oh, she looks angry a little bit now, isn't she? Maybe we have done something wrong and made her angry. And I have to say that this button always shows you the original and the result. This is very good. You can do all kinds of things here. You can play with the hair thickness, for example. So make her hair more thick it's better for a man I guess or as, as you can see it created a little bit fragments because our picture has shadow here and it's not perfect for this kind of changes so let's bring it to zero and uh, let's make her a little bit less angry maybe more happy when or, yeah, she's now looking quite satisfied, quite happy, isn't she? 
I like this result very much. Maybe we can combine it. Yes, we can. Let's try happiness to grow. Uh, <laughs> now she looks a little bit silly with the teeth, you know. But the, it's a very interesting result, you know. So maybe what will happen if we will make her less angry, but at the same time less happy? Isn't it kind of contradiction? Maybe we will see some silly result. Well, it's kind of conflicting result, but it's not at least too much unnatural. We don't know what she's doing now. She looks like she's thinking. Uh, she's She doesn't know what's happening. Maybe she's kind of surprised, but at the same time um, sad. So you can play with this as you want. It's like a toy. And it's very easy and very creative. One of the great things in the neural filters. Not all the filters here are quite good as this one. And of course, JPEG artifact removal. That it, it helps a lot when you want to remove um, artifacts from your images. So, you can also choose the output. It will be new layer. New layer with mask. You can play with uh, brush tool and uh, like hide some some of it and show some of it. There are many options to do it. But this is this was a tutorial about how to change the face expression using neural filters and smart portrait. And it's very easy and it's very effective. And I think I like this one the most when she's smiling maybe like this so that was it I hope you have enjoyed this short tutorial and if you are new to this channel I welcome you on this channel we, we do Adobe Photoshop tutorials Adobe Illustrator tutorials and I will also do other videos in future concerning uh, topics of graphic design and digital art so I hope you have enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel and until next time have a great day and see you soon